Good news. Got it apart. <laughs> it's the uh, RCA Writer's Channelist. Is that a word? Channel? Channelist? It's uh, like 19, I think. There might have been different versions of this. I think it's 1930s version of the all-in-one tester. One of everything, none of them very good maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's got a voltmeter, uh, kind of interesting, it's got four magic eye tubes. It's got a watt meter, which you can determine the wattage of an item by plugging it in the back and then you adjust this pointer until the eye closes. And when it closes, that's how many watts. I'm not sure why you would want to know that, but that's okay. It's got a... A, uh, it's kind of weird because it says it's got a RFIF oscillator AF maybe that's input there's no speaker though so it's kind of useless and an audio I believe an audio oscillator very strange I don't know. It's actually kind of well built. I think this was made by RCA under the kind of the writers. Um, writers made a lot of books and documents and probably most uh, popular schematics. This actually looks like off the shelf stuff. Nothing really special. There's a handful of tubes, some caps. Probably most notable are all the magic eye tubes. What they are. I guess you got to take these brackets loose to swing that out of the way. I might try and fire this up. It might be a fun piece to play with. Underneath, it's. Uh, <coughs> just lay on his face there. Underneath is actually quite a bit of stuff. It's pretty cramped in there. I assume that big tin can is the uh, RF oscillator. All the rest of this mishmash. There is a lot of stuff. There's no, well, there might have been a grommet there. No, no electricians, not. There's some like pin jacks here, and it almost looks like those were maybe added. I can't tell. They look a little newer. The rest of them are like uh, quarter inch bone jacks. How you get that open? I guess you take those two screws out. Ooh. There's a lot of caps in this baby. And some of them in not some fun places too. The wiring is pretty crowded. Although it does have a fuse, amazingly enough. It's another jack. There's some these little pin jacks here. I don't know if those were added or don't appear to be because there's their holes are punched in there. Maybe it was for a uh, test lead or something. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I don't know. We've opened it this far. Might as well open it a little bit further. Oh, it looks like. Hmm. Looks like there might have been some screws there. Somebody's had this open then. There's a whole army of uh, little patter caps in there. We'll move you over here so you can take a good look. Don't be afraid. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in there. Sorry, it's very sunny out today and it just blinds the viewfinder of this camera, so I got best guess. Man, there's a lot of caps in there. These would be fun to replace. They're way down in there. This, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the guts of a, a helicrafter, like an S40. All the tuning stuff was over there, all bottled up where you couldn't get to it. So, at the RF, the oscillator, and then the tunes <laughs> never mind it was a bad joke 
some more patter caps in here. There's just a lot of stuff in here. It's just really busy. You know, probably half of this is all stuff that... Huh, there's a... Probably half of this is all stuff to... Uh, excuse me, I keep getting distracted. There are jacks on the back, too. There's another pin jack. There's the... Um, outlet that you plug something in to read the wattage. Half of this stuff is probably circuitry to run those damn magic eyes. There's four of them, so... It's too bad somebody couldn't put the bottom back on it right. Oh well. I suppose if I was that old, I'd probably missing a few screws anyway. Maybe I am. Sorry, I don't have the rim shot wave thing. Look it up. Okay. I don't know if this will run or not. It doesn't look like it shouldn't. It's pretty old, but I think if we're careful, we might get it to fire up and run. Although we might not see too much here in the sun today. I might wait till later in the afternoon when the sun goes behind the house. Oh. So there are four jacks on the front. That pin jack. Let's see, the four magic eyes are RF, IF, AF. I don't get that. That must be a signal tracer. AF watts. Oscillator. There's a voltmeter kind of right smack dab in the middle. What's interesting is it's a center zero voltmeter, which is kind of an interesting idea. This says, this says RFIF over here. This says oscillator. This must be an audio oscillator. Oscillator band. Line on off. Yeah, I guess they kind of weird. Hmm. That's interesting. The, the, the knobs are staggered a tiny bit. This knob this knob and this knob are all in the same plane, but this knob and this knob are down a little bit, so it kind of makes a little reverse smiley face there. Weird. And there's the zero, there's the RF, AF, voltmeter, I assume, and then the oscillator. Put all your eggs in one basket. But that wasn't cheap when it was new. It's kind of cool looking. Well, with the sun out here, I don't think we're going to see too much. It's kind of useless without the magic eyes. Man, that thing would really be expensive nowadays to replace all those magic eyes. If they're bad or good or indifferent, I don't know. I got this at an auction, and I'm not even going to bother to tell you how much I barely paid for it. <laughs> I hear the cries out there right away. Oop, my radio is getting a little warm. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I might slide the case back on this, or I might just tuck this under a little piece of uh, a towel or something and leave it out here in the sun, let it warm up a little bit, drive any moisture that might be out there out of it. How far does that voltmeter go? 500 volts? Well, it, it's probably a thousand volts end to end, but it's, since it's center zero, it's 500 plus and minus, which would be just ducky for working on a uh, Service Instruments Inc. Nowhere on here does it say RCA though. Hmm. I don't know. Pretty kludgy. It would save a lot of space. It's very tiny. Well, I think I'll let you scoot. If I fire it up, I'll be back. Take it easy.